Hey everyone, it's Y again, and as you probably know by now, we've gotten our first taste of Halo Infinite gameplay. There's a lot of little things you might have missed, so I decided to make this video to break everything down. Let's start off with the characters. Of course we have the Master Chief and the Pilot. There's this new brute leader who goes by the name Escharum, who is new to the Halo franchise. Then we have the classic standard enemies, which takes a lot of design cues from classic Halo. We can see throughout the gameplay that there's a number of variations of grunts in both rank and style. Though we don't get the best look at the jackals, we can see that they definitely take inspiration from the Bungie era design. Taking a quick look at the elites, they appear to be taking some heavy design cues from the Halo 2 anniversary style, while the brutes on the other hand remind me mostly of the Halo Reach version. We get a glimpse at a new gameplay mechanic where brutes are able to throw suicidal grunts at you from a distance. There's a few occasions in the gameplay where we can see some ambient life on the ring. We see things like a variety of different birds and what appears to be some sort of groundhog type of animal. We can see a few vehicles that are sprinkled throughout the gameplay. While there isn't any drastic changes with it, for the most part, visually speaking, it looks a lot like the Halo 4 and Halo 5 model we've seen in the past. We get to see the shade turret, and not only that, we actually get to see it used in action it has this pretty cool shield that protects the gunner that can be broken. We can see both a crashed UNC ship, as well as a pelican. And the last vehicle we get a good look at is the Banished Phantom. Now let's take a look at the weapons. For the human weapons, we see the assault rifle, a pistol called the MK-50 Sidekick. We get a very brief glimpse at a variation of the battle rifle, an automatic gun called the VK-78 Commando, and a shotgun called the CQS-48 Bulldog. And if we take a look at the Covenant weapons, we see the Plasma Pistol, the Needler, and a new variation of the Carbine called the Pulse Carbine. It appears that it shoots in burst and can overheat. We also get a very brief glimpse of the energy sword in action. We see a few new brute weapons added to the sandbox. Here we have what's called the Mangler, which appears to shoot some sort of bolt-like projectile. And then there's this gun, which is known as the Ravenger, which appears to be a burst fire weapon that needs to be vented after use. Now let's take a look at the grenades. There's the frag grenade, that does pretty much what you expect it to. The plasma grenade, with no big changes apparent with how it functions. The same can also be said for the functionality of the spike grenade. There also appears to be a new type of grenade, and judging by the looks of it, it's a brute variant. The way this grenade works is that after it's thrown, it'll lift off from the ground and send out electric bolts to nearby enemies. It looks like when the enemy gets hit by this electric grenade, they appear to be momentarily stunned. Equipment will also be another option you have in this game. There's the drop wall, which is a deployable cover that appears to let you shoot through if you're on the inside of the cover and can be destroyed from the outside. The other piece of equipment we saw that you can pick up is the grapple shot. This can be used to traverse the map or grab nearby fusion coils, which by the way, can be picked up and thrown at enemies. Being that this is an open world game, you're given a mini-map to help you with navigation. There's also a scanning feature, which looks like it's used to scan the nearby area for certain objects. And that'll do it for my breakdown of the gameplay we've seen so far on Halo Infinite. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.